Oops. Alright guys, how are we doing today? Um, in this video I want to actually show you a few of the new changes that they released with the new version of the game and the experimental version 22835 September 2015. Now, um, I'm going to go and set up a new creative uh, game here. And we'll take a look at some of the new features. Um, actually, if you watch my previous video, you'll notice there are indeed a few changes. Um, um, since my last video, there have been birds that have been placed upon the pad, or rather the pod. So you'll notice that is a nice feature, new little feature in the game. So that adds some life to the game. Um, we're going to go ahead here and set up the constructor in the water. I can toss it down, alright. Um, we'll get to this later. Let's hop in. Seamoth here. Go the little Seamoth. Um, come on, little guy. Alright, so the Seamoth is going to drop here. And you'll notice, actually... There is an upgrade module now. Um, good, interesting thing about the upgrade modules, if you watched my previous video, it didn't have a texture. Now it's f fully embedded into the uh, the name or the uh, vessel and has a skin now. So that's a neat little thing. Also, you'll notice the um, text on the default um, Seamoth now is labeled as just Seamoth, but it's in black, whereas it used to be in white. All right, so you can actually access the upgrades like that. But let's let's get in the sea moth. Um, actually, there's a few things I've noticed, um, and I don't know if it's just uh, part of the game or or what now. But um, I've noticed things look a little bit more murky than I remember them. Uh, that might not actually be a new feature, but that's how it might seem for me, at least on my screen. Um, I do have a harder time viewing large distances than I did before. But that doesn't actually mean anything. So let's go ahead out with the Seamoth here and um, go to some deeper waters. There is, um, I'll get to the next feature when I get there. Um, actually, there is damage in the vessel now. So if you, um, if you like go to a certain depth, the damage you'd have just made knocking sounds and you notice the hull health would just drop um however now there's actually damage in physical or i should say um cosmetic damage to the actual vehicle so you'll see water drip in and stuff like that is nice nice looking effects nonetheless this seems to be a hmm, interesting you know something that's interesting about this game is it seems every time i boot it up i see something new i don't know if that's just coincidence or or what, but the environments always look semi varied despite supposedly being, you know, completely unchanged. Alright, so we're at depth that we would, although we would start receiving damage to the, to the vehicle if we hit something. Um, and this seems to be Reaper Leviathan territory, so. Um, we're gonna, I'm gonna go ahead and try to set it. I forgot how to set it. I think I'll just type in survival. Oh, okay. Passing safe yeah, depth. Passing safe depth. So, Warning. now I'm in crush depth. Now watch what happens to the vehicle. You can already start seeing, you can start seeing sparks fly. Which is neat. And as the damage increases on the vehicle, water will start flooding in. Actually, I think we're getting to that point now. Yeah, I can see the cracks. I don't know if you guys can see it well, but there's cracks in the screen. And it's getting significantly more uh, damage as it's going on, so that's neat. Uh, eventually, it obviously, it'll stop. So let's go back and create it. Leave it as it is. Whoops. Uh, shit. <laughs> oh, it exploded. <laughs> wow. Rest in peace, Seamoth. Um, okay, so that's that. Let's just search no damage. Um, anyway, there's a new 
option for Emergency. us. Emergency. Ten seconds of oxygen um, remaining. This new um, terraformer. Oh, I guess I ran out of oxygen. Great. I, I apparently there's not a um, there's not a console command for this yet. Well, that was weird. But anyway, this this is the new um, terraformer design. Um, obviously, honestly, the difference is. I'm not actually even sure how it works. Oh, I just right click. I'm not sure what the left click option's for, but uh, yeah, it has a nice little model for it anymore. It doesn't look like a fucking handheld piece of junk. It looks more like an actual usable uh, piece of machinery. Now, there is something for the Seamoth called a uh, torpedo. And Emergency. what it does is the torpedo remaining. will allow you to um, basically, it's kind of like a weapon in a way. So, like, it's, it's sort of a weapon for the uh, for the Seamoth. So it's, it's quite useful actually. Yeah. Uh, actually, let me see if I can pull it up for you guys. I'm just not sure what the command is. Seamoth Torpedo. I'm actually popping this into Google, so don't judge me, but that's exactly what I'm doing. It's called the Seamoth Torpedo Module. So what if I do item Seamoth Torpedo Module? Oh, okay, I picked it up. Alright, let's spawn the Seamoth in right here, and I'll put it in the upgrades. Come on. Come on. Alright. Let's pop it into the upgrade platform. Alright, so we need to put in this guy here. There's a the Seamoth upgrade module. Okay, so now I should be equipped with torpedoes. Boom! Isn't that cool? Whoa, it creates a whirlpool. Interesting. That's fancy. Um, actually, so I've been reading that... Oh, whoops. I've been reading that you can use this as sort of a uh, module protect against reapers because they'll be trapped in the whirlpool. But nonetheless, it's actually, interestingly enough, not a weapon that is going to kill creatures, but it will essentially deter them long enough for you to escape if that's the issue. Now, it takes battery to use this um, torpedo module, so be aware of that when you are in the process of, you know, fighting things. But nonetheless, it's a cool thing. Finally, the Seamoth has some sort of weapon. Um, and as you can see, it works pretty nicely. Um, that is the extent of the changes that they have released to uh, in this recent version. Actually, they have released biters around the floating island. Um, you know, the little bastards that come and nip at you, but it's not really a, a feature that's worth talking about. Um, so that is the extent of this video. Um, if Remember, you need to be in 22835 September 2015. It's a dev build. It is an experimental build that you can only get on Steam. Uh, latest version. However, you can um, look forward to seeing the new Seamoth upgrade module and all that stuff in the actual release of the build, which is coming up very soon in September. So look forward to it, guys. Um, thanks for watching this video.